Hello to everyone watching this video. In this video, I'm going to go over how to control an LED wirelessly using Arduinos and uh, XB radios. So right here we have our LED and so here's our push button. So if I press this right here, LED is going to turn on. Press it again, turn off. And all of this is done wirelessly by the communication of uh, those two XB radios. So just to get a general idea of the whole circuit and like how everything is working. So right here, this circuit, we're going to call this the transmitter. And this one, we're going to call the receiver. So what happens here is in the transmitter, when I press the button, the packets are going to get sent from the radio and they're going to get received by the receiver, as you can see here. So when the XB radio here, the receiver receives it, sends it to the Arduino and the Arduino will turn on the LED. So throughout the video, this is going to be the transmitter and this is going to be the receiver. Uh, in order to keep things organized, um, so we're going to build this first, write the code for it, and then do the same thing for the receiver. So now let's go over the stuff that you're going to need. So we have two Arduino Uno R3 boards. We have an XP dongle. So we need this to configure the settings of the XP radios. You can buy this from SparkFun and you need the X, uh, USB cable for it as well. We have two breadboards. We have two XB Series 1 radios. Two XB adapters. So basically we need this to interface between the XB radios and the Arduinos because if, uh, you'll notice when you buy this, you can't connect, you can't wire, uh, hook it up directly to the breadboard. So uh, these were used. Uh, these were these were used for this purpose. So if we connect it right here, as easy as that. And you can get these from uh, out of fruit. Next we have. Uh, so you're gonna need a push button, an LED, uh, two resistors. So one K is for the switch. Uh, the other one I use a 39 ohm resistor for the LED. And uh, finally, so this is uh, this is the USB cable for the Arduino. And you're gonna need a bunch of uh, jumper wires. Okay, so now let's wire up the transmitter. So firstly, let's connect the five volts and the ground. So this is ground here. We're gonna make this the ground port. We're going to connect 5 volts from the 5 volt pin here and we're going to make this port supplying 5 volts uh, to the breadboard. So next we're going to connect the push button. There are 4 pins on the push button where we're going to only deal with 3. So this pin is going to connect it to one end of the resistor of the one this is a 1k resistor and the other end is going to get connected to ground so we got our 1k resistor here now this pin right here of the push button is going to get connected to 5 volts this one is going to get connected to pin 7 Okay, next let's connect our uh, XB radio. So we have four pins here. So we have our five volts, our ground, our RX and TX. So these are the ones we're gonna be worried about for now. And let's start with our five volts. So that's gonna be here. And we're gonna connect it to our five volt supply on the breadboard. Next our ground is over here we're gonna connect it here our main ground then our TX pin over here and this is gonna go to pin 2 on the Arduino and finally our RX pin is gonna get connected to pin 3 on the Arduino. 
So the last step is just hooking up our battery. It's pretty straightforward. So we have our ground connected here to our main ground. And our positive terminal is going to get connected to VN. And now we have our transmitter working. And we do the same thing for the receiver. Now we're going to wire up our receiver. So let's start off by connecting our 5 volt pin again. And we're going to feed that here. Next we're going to connect our ground pin from the Arduino to here to make our common ground. Next we're going to connect our LED. So we're going to have this short end connected to the common ground. Then we're going to have a, the 39 ohm resistor or whatever resistor you're using connected to the other end of the uh, of the LED. And in this end of the resistor we're going to have that connected to pin 7 of the Arduino. Now for the XB adapter Again, only four pins, so we're going to have our ground pin connected to our common ground. We're going to have our 5 volts being supplied by our main 5, five volt supply line here. Our RX being connected to pin 3 of the Arduino. Our TX here of the adapter is connected to pin 2 of the Arduino. And this is it for the receiving end. Okay, so now we're gonna configure the XB radio so they can communicate with each other. And we'll start with our transmitter. So the first thing is uh, get your XB. Uh, radio transmitter connected to the dongle then connect it to the USB port on your computer or laptop and after that we're gonna use a software which is called XCTU you can download that for free from the Digi website and we're gonna use this software to configure the settings so I'll just give a few minutes uh, for this to load so now we're in the main menu and we're gonna uh, press this which will discover any radio connected to the USB port so click next leave uh, these as, as they are don't change anything click finish and it found our transmitter here so this is saying it discovered an one XP radio connected to port 4 so I'm gonna click add selected device and this is our device right here so i'm gonna click this and all the parameters and settings will load over here in just a few seconds so as you can see there are a number of uh, now don't don't get confused by this uh, it, it is a lot of settings you can do a lot with uh, these uh, xp radios but for now, we're only going to con get concerned about these five. So I've set uh, now. Now I've set these myself. So once you connect it for the first time, you're going to get the default settings. And if you want to always get the default settings, just press this. But for now, I'm just going to go with my settings, show you what I did. So firstly, for the channel, both the transmitter and the receiver have to communicate on the same channel so i've set this one to f for the transmitter the receiver must also be set to f and then we have the pan id so this is basically in any given network of uh, where xps are communicating with each other they must have their unique uh, pan id so both the x the transmitter and the receiver must have the same id so i've set this one to 1992 Likewise, for the receiver, must it must also be set to 1992. Uh, next, we're gonna have we're gonna configure the destination address. So basically, the destination of where the transmitter should communicate. 
So I've set it to the broadcast address. So meaning any other XP device within range, our transmitter will automatically connect with it. Finally, we have uh, the my 16 bit source address. And what this basically does, it gives a unique address uh, to our radio. So I've set this one to 80. So now let's go over the settings for the receiver. For the channel, I've set it to F. And as mentioned earlier, the channel for both the transmitter and the receiver have to be the same. Uh, for the pan ID, it also has to be the same. I've set it to 1992. Destination address, uh, we don't need the receiver to uh, send anything. <clears throat> so we're going to set that to zero. And finally, for the my 16 bit address, I've set it to 90. So now let's go over the code. And to start off, we'll go uh, with the transmitter. Uh, firstly, because we're using a push button, we don't need to write the whole code from scratch. We can just use one of the examples and uh, add code to it. So if we go here and in digital, we'll use the debounce one. So I've used, I'm using the debounce one and we'll add the uh, relevant code uh, for the XP. So if we go down here, we have uh, the software serial library we need to include as well as the XP.h and leave all these the same. And if we come down here in this section, we need to configure pins two and three to act uh, as the RX and TX. So make sure you add this line. In the setup, we need to uh, initialize the baud rates for the serial and the XP. Uh, so we'll make sure they're matching. I've set this one to 9600. So as we scroll down here, uh, leave everything here the same. And when we get to the digital right, LED, uh, comma, LED state, after that, we add XP.write LED state. And what this basically does is sends uh, the status of the LED uh, to the receiver and it's a binary state so it's either a one or a zero. Finally we have serial.print LED state. Uh, this is if you want to see the status uh, of the uh, push button as you're pushing it. Uh, you can see it in the serial monitor <clears throat> but you, this is optional you don't really need it. Okay so now we have the code for the receiver. So firstly we include the software serial library and the XP library, just as we did in the transmitter. Then we initialize pins two and three for uh, TX and RX. Then we initialize uh, uh, int data is equal to zero. So this will receive the bytes that the receiver will receive from the transmitter. Then if we go to setup here, we have uh, the serial.begin and XP.begin and make sure both baud rates are the same. Now we're gonna initialize pin 7 as an output for the LED. So next we come down to our loop and inside we make uh, another loop, a while loop. So here we're saying while our XB radio is receiving data packets, store those packets in the data, in our data variable. Uh, so this is where uh, this line comes into place. After that serial.print uh, data, um, add this line, it's important. I'll explain why in the details uh, this is critical for it to work. Outside our while loop, we come down here to our if statement, first if statement. So we're saying if the data received from the transmitter is a one, then the, then write digital write seven is equal to high, meaning so turn on the LED in our uh, receiver side. And if data is equal to zero, then turn it off. And uh, this is all I have for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any constructive feedback, I'd really appreciate it.